given the favorable data, yes. enhanced testing, and approval of our healthcare professionals. Come on, sweetheart, we say will it. allow gyms, yes. fitness centers, yes. bowling alleys, body art studios, say it. barbers, cosmetologists, say it. Say hair it. designers, yes. nail care <gasps> artists. Yes, sweet baby Jesus. Jesus. Their yes. School yes. And massage oh, therapy. Jesus, we thank open you. Their doors this Friday. Oh, Friday. Perfect. Perfect. Unlike other businesses, oh. these these. Did y'all hear that? <gasps> Governor Kemp just declared a miracle, y'all, for our Peach State. He just said that we are fixing to to reopen for business. Yes, sirree. On Friday. That's in just two days, y'all. Oh, he's so happy. And you know, he said, no, not for everybody just yet, but he did say nail care salons, nail artist salons, and that's me. That's my business. So, I mean, just look at these nails. God, the Lord knows I need it. <laughs> well, they didn't let me get my equipment before everything started. I haven't been able to do anything. Oh, yes. Well, we are moving right along with our lives while everyone else in the country is tearing up Jack. Now, don't misunderstand. I know not everybody's exaggerating, especially New York. Sugar, you could not pay me to live in New York, especially not now, unless I won the lottery. Then I might could. <laughs> but that's not happening in this lifetime. Can't ever could, because you can't ever would, right? Uh, well, anyway, before y'all go criticizing about this whole thing, I want you to know, especially my clients, who are probably worried about contaminants, that we at Tempted nails are taking the utmost precautions for all y'all's visits. And I'm starting, of course, at home. So put down your little clickers and listen good because I've collected some information and some tips for y'all for all of us that I've gathered over the last few months. Now, y'all know that the leftist media is spreading lies like green grass through goose, but trust me, there are some very simple things that you can do at home so that we can be safe and not spread the virus when we leave. Now, first, I now have to read all these notes from my notebook here. That's why I keep looking down. I'm not trying to ignore y'all. Now, wash everything with bleach. And I mean everything. Okay. Um, I know that some of y'all are, are pitching a fit right now saying, Rebecca, not all my suits are white. Well, guess what? Sally. Now they are. Yes, we have to start clean people. This is serious business. Okay, next, drink hot liquids. And that everything that goes for everything, all right? Casserole, put it in a blender, boil it. A uh, peach, peach cobbler, put it in a blender, boil it. Uh, ice cream, ditch the ice cream popsicles. No popsicles. Give them up, okay? Nothing cold. Um, iced tea. Well, to make tea, you you steep. I mean, if it's not store bought, you well first you boil the water, then you steep it. Then you know what? There's no good reason that you can't have a little bit of ice in a tall glass of cold. A, a tall chilled glass with your tea and put a little sugar and lemon in it. You know, per usual. Mix it up. Tastes good. I mean, you might need some ice anyway. Keep, keep the iced tea, okay? You might need the ice for, for you know, when your dogs are barking in this darn heat. So the tea is fine, but everything else, blend and boil. Okay, now. You have to keep your airways clear. That's why we're doing this, drinking all the hot liquids every 20 minutes or more. I mean, you, you've got to keep your mouth moist, you understand? So the germs pass through your esophagus and they collect down, down in your uh, stomach acids because acids is what kills the virus, okay? Speaking of which, I'm going to drink mine right now. Now, this beer is warm because, you know, it's 90 degrees in the shade right now. And yes, I'm drinking Corona. And no, you can't get the virus from the Corona. Bless your heart. <laughs> All right, where am I? What did I say? Uh, bowl, wash, uh, oh, dry. Never let your clothes stay moist. Never leave them a second longer than that machine dings, okay? As soon as you hear that sucker go, 
you run ahead and you put your clothes out to dry on the line outside in the sunlight because you know there's no better disinfectant than mother nature herself now moving right along don't smoke do i have to explain that i don't think so now if your husband chews tobacco that's probably fine uh just make sure these fits in his bucket and nowhere else and lord leave the bucket outside because inside is just gross lastly uh gargle with salt water every day morning noon and night if you can your husband too and your kids too uh now i'll have some salt and sinks and water at the salon uh, in case you forget because i want all y'all healthy and uh don't you go taking advice from people that you don't know like that uh dr fauci i know he looks handsome and i know that he looks trustworthy and sure, if he knocked on my door right now, I'd say, Peter, I'm fixing to go to the grocery store. And I'd have myself a little, you know, we can get away. But do not take his advice, okay? Because just, just because he has sex appeal and he, and, he, and he wears glasses that make him look smart doesn't mean anything, okay? Because let me tell you something. I watched a documentary about him, and he turns out to be a liar, and he hates women and the gays. So don't ever forget that anyone who's richer than you does not have your best interest at heart. Like that Gwyneth Paltrow. That girl's so rich. She buys a new boat when the other one gets wet. Selling her vaginal scents, candles on the internet. I bought one. <laughs> Let me tell you. It smells... Okay, you know, you know that um, orange Julius original that they started selling at the DQ? <laughs> it smells like that. It's tart. <laughs> it's definitely tart, but it's natural. I bought two, actually. Now, how'd this go and get cracked? Oh, you know what it is. Peter's been smelling my candle. Peter's been sniffing so much you cracked it. Peter, you cracked my candle, Peter. Peter. Man, oh yeah, fixing the oil. Peter, you lubricate that truck and more. You won't be able to sit in it. Can't even hear me. Ugh. Well, I gotta go, y'all. I think that's all the notes that I had. Now I'll see you this Friday, the twenty fourth. That's in two days, y'all. So go to uh, temptonnails.org because we're technically under the radar now. Don't tell anybody. We're a nonprofit, but uh, you can make your uh, appointments down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you, or you can go on the website and just book your appointment right now. Now, y'all stay safe, okay? And uh, if I have any more tips, I'll definitely make sure that you get them first. Okay. Bye now.